Yeah. If you were organizing the 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 room vacation, where are you going? If oh, you're the party. Player. I mean, if we're if we're doing a cruise, I mean, um, what if everything's on the table? Any, yeah, any, anything's on the yeah. table. Um, I mean, we're playing in Brazil this year, so I mean, we could do a could do, do a Rio. Trip. Yeah, just a little little Rio trip out there. Uh, I don't know how that would lose. <laughs> I, yeah. Three weeks later. Okay, so maybe Maurice Hurst didn't know what he was talking about. Welcome, everybody, to JG9 News, where we talk all things NFL all the time. I'm Jared Aaron. I represent the 904 from the 602. And today, we have breaking news coming out of the NFL regarding these two teams behind me right here, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Green Bay Packers, because now we know that these two teams will be playing week one Friday night in Brazil. We knew for a while that the NFL was playing a game in Brazil. We knew since February that the Philadelphia Eagles were going to be the home team. But the NFL was deciding between the Cleveland Browns and the Green Bay Packers for the opponent of the Eagles. And it looked from all indications at the start like it was going to be the Cleveland Browns. They expressed interest in the game. You had Maurice Hurst make comments about the Browns going to Brazil and how he was going to travel to Brazil this year. But at the end of the day, it is the Green Bay Packers, the most popular team in Brazil, who will be playing the Philadelphia Eagles for that Friday night opener in Sao Paulo. Now, yesterday we had an indication that maybe it was going to be the Packers and not the Browns. Mark Murphy, the president of the Packers, said this according to Rod Demosky, a reporter for ESPN. He said, this is very important for the league. If we're chosen, we'll gladly go. We're either the first or second most popular team in Brazil. And the Packers echo those thoughts and Mark Murphy echo those thoughts in the statement put out today about the Packers playing this game in Brazil. Said Murphy... We're looking forward to being a part of this historic matchup against the Eagles in Sao Paulo. We're excited to play in front of our devoted fans in Brazil and help build upon the international popularity of the NFL and the Packers. We had a great experience playing internationally for the first time a couple of years ago, and we're proud to be part of the league's continued global growth. And then Garrett Meyer, the NFL Managing Director and Head of International, said on this, as global growth continues to be a critical and strategic priority for the NFL and its 32 clubs, we are thrilled to have the Green Bay Packers playing against the Philadelphia Eagles in our first ever game in South America. So it is official. Packers, Eagles in Brazil, Friday night, week one, televised on Peacock, the streaming service. I'm stunned. I'm honestly stunned by this news and how it got to this point. Because the Philadelphia Eagles got completely screwed over here. They have to be absolutely livid about this. And I mean livid. First off, the Eagles are the ones giving up the home game. They are giving up a home game in the grand scheme of things. The Packers have a 9-7-1 split, and that'd be big in the wildcard hunt. The Eagles have eight home games, eight row games, one neutral, and the Packers have nine home games, seven row games, and one neutral. That is a big, big difference, especially because this might be a 10-7 split. The Packers might have 10 home games. The Eagles might be having nine row games because the Packers are the most popular team in Brazil and by a fairly healthy margin, I might add, even though the Eagles are the home team, this is basically a home game for the Packers. Here's a look at the most popular teams in Brazil, the breakdown, you see it there. The Packers are number one. 12.25% of all NFL fans in Brazil are fans of the Green Bay Packers. One out of every eight, roughly. Three out of every 25 fans are Packer fans. One out of every 25 fans are Eagle fans. Now, obviously, it doesn't work out like this necessarily, but realistically, you can expect a 3-1 split in that stadium, which is an Eagles home game, mind you, in favor of the Packers. So they have to be livid about this, that it's not the Browns, who are way less popular than the Eagles, would have guaranteed the fact that it would have been an Eagles home game, would have been an Eagles-heavy crowd, but it's not that. It is going to be a Packers-heavy crowd, barring anything crazy. On top of that, the Eagles lose a ton of exposure that could be big in terms of selling tickets for future games and in terms of marketing and all of that. Because Eagles Packers, if that was in America, that would have been a guaranteed America's Game of the Week. That's a guaranteed 425 game somewhere or a primetime game, Sunday Night Football, Monday Night Football. You know, one of the networks would have been all over that. Eagles Browns, probably not going to be that. Probably not going to be an America's Game of the Week. Probably not going to be a primetime game. It'll probably be a pretty marquee one o'clock game, but it will not be America's Game of the Week or primetime games, so you lose exposure that way. And on top of that, you lose money off ticket sales 
compare it to if the Cleveland Browns were the Brazil game and you had Green Bay playing in Philadelphia. For some perspective, this is according to Sports Illustrated. The last time the Eagles played the Packers in 2022, in Philadelphia, the ticket price, the average price, was $389.58, even with the Packers at 4-7. and seven. For some perspective, the average ticket price for an Eagles game in 2023 was somewhere around 200 bucks. For the Eagles-Packers game, it was double that. Eagles-Browns, the average price, I can guarantee it will not be 400 bucks. I can guarantee you it will not be 400 like it would have been for the Packers game. So, Eagles fans are losing a home game. They are losing it to a team that is the most popular team in Brazil. They're losing money off ticket sales, and they're losing exposure in the process. So you have to think, okay, this is great news for the Packers then, right? Well, not quite, because Packer fans are probably livid about this, that they're playing a game in Brazil. The reason why? The game is on Peacock. The game is on Peacock. Now you might be saying, wait a sec, not a huge problem, again, with the NFL rules over the air, has to be a thing in the market. So people in Green Bay are going to get the Packer game over the air. We don't know what station is going to televise the game, but they will get it over the air. But you have to remember, Green Bay has the smallest population of any city in the NFL. Green Bay is a town for all intents and purposes. Most Packer fans do not live in Green Bay. They live outside of Green Bay. So that's a lot of people that will now have to purchase Peacock to watch this game that might not get it otherwise. On top of that, you might be saying, what about Milwaukee? Milwaukee is not getting the game. Milwaukee will not get the game. Per NFL rules, this does not apply to secondary markets. It only applies to the city itself. And Milwaukee's outside the 75-mile radius. It's not in the city itself. We saw them with Kansas City and Miami in that playoff game. Unless you were in Kansas City or unless you were in Miami, you didn't get the game on over there. You had to buy it on Peacock. Same thing with Buffalo and the Chargers with Los Angeles. You have to buy the game on Peacock if you didn't live in those cities. Milwaukee is not getting the game over there. Which means that Packer fans in Milwaukee, even if you live in Milwaukee, even if you go to the games and have a season ticket package, because the Packers have a weird thing with season tickets because of the Milwaukee series, when they canceled that series back in the mid-90s, they basically split the season ticket package up into the green package and the gold package, where Green Bay fans would get a certain number of games and Milwaukee fans get a certain number of games. So even if you have season tickets to the Packers, you will still have to pay money to watch your team play on Peacock because of this. Unless they make an exception, which they did not say in the press release. It said nothing about the press release. It just said in the team city. So you got to assume that Milwaukee is not that. And based on precedent, Milwaukee is not that. Packer fans in Milwaukee are completely screwed. They will have to pay extra money to do this. You would hope that there would be a deal that if you have season tickets to the Packers in Milwaukee... You get Peacock for free for this, almost like how a lot of people get MLB TV for free if you have season tickets to a team. You would think that NBC Peacock would try and do something to rectify the situation for Milwaukee fans. Maybe put the game on over the air, and if you can't put it over the air, at the very least give all people that have the gold package for Milwaukee a trial for Peacock where they get this game for free. And then if they want to keep Peacock and, and keep the service, that's fine, but at least they get this game for free. But it's... We, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. But Papper fans are getting completely screwed by this, especially the Milwaukee fans who won't get the game over the year, even though they deserve to. And obviously the Eagles have to be livid about this because they're basically playing a road game. They're basically playing a road game based on that split with Eagle fans and Packer fans. So this decision, I'm, I'm very surprised. I'm not sure it necessarily makes a whole lot of sense from the perspective of the Eagles or the Packers. It makes a ton of sense for Peacock. It makes a ton of sense for growing the game in Brazil. Don't get me wrong. But Eagles have to be livid about this. Packer fans have to be livid about this. Very shocking, especially after the comments made by Maurice Terse. It seemed like all indications were that the Browns are going to play this game, and now it's going to be the Green Bay Packers instead. Should be a good game to open up the season on that Friday night. We don't know who the Chiefs are playing Thursday night, but for game number two, Eagles-Packers, should be a good game. But not sure it makes a whole lot of sense for the Eagles or the Packers when you break it down logistically. But what are your thoughts on this news? Do you like Eagles-Packers in Brazil? Do you think it's a good move? Do you not think it's a good move? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below where you'd like to have seen Eagles-Browns instead. Again, I want to hear everything down below. That's going to do it for this episode of JG9 News. Be sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check my main channel, Jaguar Gear 9, where we talk all things NFL history all the time. Until next time, this is Jaguar Gear 9 signing off. And as always, go Jags.